few weeks ago, I was already thinking how to set up this talk, and uh, I was quite arrogant about it. So for two years, uh, I was actually leading the uh, innovation platform for personalized nutrition at DSM Nutritional Products, nowadays DSM Firmenich. And uh, quickly I realized that, uh, yeah, it's a vast topic. It's not easy in 10 minutes to synthesize everything. So I will do my best. And I believe that the first thing that has to be done is to give a clear definition. So, and usually when I need to do definition, I actually look at etymology. So let's take the two words, so personalized. The root of it is persona. If we look at an ancient Greek, it means a mask. A mask that the actors were putting on themselves to impersonate a role. So with persona, we do not actually only treat a subject, we treat a subject that is embedded in society with frustrations, with rights, with duties, and uh, with ambitions. And then nutrition, that comes from Latin word nutrire, which means uh, nourishing, feeding. And uh, actually with personalized nutrition, we actually have the ambition of precisely feed personas. So people like us, that has an active role in society. How this is actually done nowadays? 100% of the personalized nutrition program you will find online, if you're Googling personalized nutrition, will offer you a program in a, that is based on three different pillars. Diagnostic, digital data science, and delivery format. When I talk about delivery format, since that I'm working for the same firm niche, is about uh, uh, data supplements, but you can apply it also to actually uh, other products too. And let's actually dig in uh, all of these three pillars, uh, and I'll try to explain you also how those pillars are interconnected to deliver personalized nutrition, so diagnostic. First of all, we need to understand to whom we are actually talking to, who is the persona. So questionnaires, we need to understand the baseline. So at time zero, what the person has as a basic needs. So the age, uh, the habits, uh, the type of job, so on and so forth. We can go for minutes uh, and list uh, all of these uh, uh, topics. And then we start with the uh, uh, measurement of parameters that could be physical or chemical. So chemical parameters through blood works. So uh, understanding the amount of nutrients uh, that your body has already at time zero. Understanding with the urine analysis that the type of metabolites that you have. DNA tests, uh, also quite important, very expensive though but actually you can figure out if you're prone to absorb well some nutrients or not to absorb other things, and you need a specific version of that nutrients, and also if you are prone to certain conditions. So, and this is setting really who you are. And then of course, the other part of diagnostic is understanding what you want. So meaning you want to be more focused, perform better during uh, sport activities, uh, your uh, daily work, uh, and uh, usually, the baseline is here and your expectations are over there. So, and then you have indeed a gap in between. So, and the second pillar is basically looking at the gap. And through actually data science uh, and digital solution is uh, trying to bridge this gap with uh, specific solutions. So a solution like uh, from a digital platform point of view could be like Netflix does, uh, is giving you a digital nudge. So a new release is out. Uh, have a look at it, you may like it. And in our case, it would be, yeah, you are 200 steps away from your daily goal, so get out, have a walk. There are even more sophisticated things coming out now. You're out, you need to have lunch. Go to these restaurants, 200 meters from you. You will find anything that you need for lunch and you will fill your nutritional gap within half an hour. So we are already at this level. This is basically giving uh, any personas then a solution concerning the dietary supplements that should basically get. And the third pillar is basically the next steps, which is delivery formats. So manufacturing a specific dietary supplement solution for each persona, which means that physically the dietary supplements has to be actually put together and delivered to the person. And the beauty of personalized nutrition is not finishing there. This uh, three pillars are constantly interconnected. And uh, meanwhile, your uh, wishes and uh, uh, your life is constantly changing. The dietary supplements that will accompany you 
will be also constantly changing. This can be really impactful if you think about the potential. So now that you understand how it works, I can give you two examples for letting you know how impactful this could be in our future, I would say, five to 10 years. So we can actually have personalized nutrition pro program addressing uh, women's health uh, and uh, preparing uh, women before actually becoming pregnant. So with the right supplementation of poly uh, uh, unsaturated fatty acids uh, and the right micronutrients, uh, you can basically diminish uh, the early preterm birth risk of 50%. This would have a huge impact uh, on uh, public health. As well, during COVID, we figure out that uh, uh, up to 60% of uh, people in Europe were deficient in vitamin D. And vitamin D has a really a huge impact on our immunity system. So uh, you can imagine uh, what about having uh, a personalized nutrition approach uh, that is uh, always and constantly keeping up your uh, immunity system at the best level just for you. And if you cannot absorb exactly through by the bioavailability of the form of uh, vitamin D or any other micronutrients that is uh, comprehensive in the uh, immunity system, we can basically tailor the formulation for you. So that also would be really impactful uh, in uh, how uh, we perceive uh, immunity nowadays and save a lot of money uh, also from a public health system. Can we do it now on a large scale? Unfortunately not. We have the technologies, but we always stop uh, at uh, the first two pillars. So personalized nutrition nowadays, it reaches the uh, top income families, people that might not even need to get personalized nutrition uh, dietary supplements. So, and that's the unfortunate part. And why we stop there? Because the cost of putting together dietary supplements just for the single persona is huge. So from a private and a public sector to arrive uh, uh, at uh, the massification and the democratization of uh, personalized nutrition, uh, we will need uh, to invest uh, in uh, innovation, in uh, processing, uh, and in uh, uh, logistics. So this would be the only way uh, to basically have this concept uh, applied to most of uh, uh, us and the communities and societies. If I ask myself three questions, would it be possible? Yes. It will be easy? No. Have I reached uh, my goal uh, to explain you in 10 minutes uh, <laughs> what in the personalized nutrition is and the impact that could have in uh, uh, our societies? Well, you let me know. I hope so. Thank you so much. I think... Uh... <laughs>